So I had an idea and I thought, why not just do it? So I'm going to take my screen and chuck it in my pegboard. Not on it, but in the pegboard. All right, something just worked out in my favor and I'm so stoked with how it's work out. So the holes that mount the pegboard to the frame of the workbench, which is that metal, mounts the wood to the metal, actually line up with the back of the monitor and the base of screw. So I can run one piece of metal across the back of those holes, across the screen and back into themselves. So we're going metal of the workbench into the metal of the baser. Metal or metal, that's be much more secure. I was just gonna like bolt it into the wood, but I can, I can make this work. This is gonna be freaking sick. set up, it's good to go, I've got to switch this switch and we get power to the monitor, the Raspberry Pi, everything should boot up, let's do it. My batteries, backlights on, no signal, now I put a hole in here so I can reach through and change to HDMI, ah, it's all good, there we go, Raspberry Pi desktop's booting up. That's the Raspberry Pi that's up here, so it's got power from this power board and it has the HDMI feeding through to the monitor. That's coming through, cool. That's our Linux desktop booting up. Now we should have this keyboard and mouse. I flip this on, I've got batteries in it. Yes! <laughs> Yo, here we go. Actually, I don't think I've put this on my Wi-Fi yet. I just presume that this Wi-Fi dongle being like so generic would just be supported out the bat with the OS, but no, I probably have to install the drivers. So I won't have to plug the Raspberry Pi into um, via LAN. I have a really long Ethernet cable down in the studio, so... Norman, you left your like terrifying duck here in the corner. Big dog, big rubber duck. Um, yeah, I have a big Ethernet cable down here. Look at this sandbag. Literal sand in a bag. Um, yeah, this one's not a crossover cable. And yes, yeah, someone did comment about these being so dangly. Um, I will get to cable managing this one day. Alright, that's now plugged in. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just following some garden line trying to fix the Wi-Fi. All right, so it's now the next day. Wi-Fi is now set up on this RS Reply 2 from when I was at uni to 2014. I think I used it. Um, it's pretty old. 
two gig of RAM, but still lets us do what we want to do. The reason why this is set up anyway, I'm going to put a Raspberry Pi is a print server, Octo print server. This guy goes in this corner when I built the enclosure for the 3D printer. And we have other like Arduino boards to program. So that's like a Leonardo, which is like a big boy. Uh, we have the Pro Micro, which uses the same at Mega chip. And these guys will print, uh, plug into that little pass through um, cable. And that's going to plug into the Raspberry Pi, which I can then program. Um, different little electronic projects with uh, and then I can still use this as a web browser terminal to the print server that will be on this more powerful Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gigabyte, you know, current model. So then what do we learn in today's video? Well, you can probably lose a lot of stuff that's around your house, like 90% of this project was with things like that I had, the wood and the mounting and the, the tools. I bought this, the K400 Plus, to start using the books and I also bought like paint so that was the only costs. Other than that probably don't buy a Wi-Fi dongle for two dollars direct from China that's a waste of time trying to find drivers for. I think if I was better at Linux I'd be able to figure out how to load drivers faster but being an IT dude that works with Windows every day um, it's a different experience trying to uh, it's just different. All in all though I'm super stoked with this little setup I now have like a little screen that I can sit down in my garage build little electronic projects, 3D print stuff, and it does everything that I want it to do. I don't know, just create stuff, be creative if you wanna, otherwise you can just keep subscribing and watching me make random things. Thanks for watching, see ya.